Hi everybody, I'm Ben the Learner and today I want to solve a problem. I want to try to do it and this is the problem. I have a Roomba, you know, an automated sweeper machine and it, it just don't work now. I have this Roomba for last five years, so kind of very old machine, but I still want to save it. So let's do it. So this is my Roomba, very useful. I bought that in 2013 and since two, three years, I have birds too and it created a lot of stuff on the ground. So I really need this machine to work. But recently this machine stopped to work very correctly. In fact, it stopped to work at the same time that I went to Australia for three months. So the person that was taking care of my really nice bird had to do more cleanup than I expected. First of all, it doesn't go on the base very often. This is one of the first problem. Then there is this problem. It should work better than it is. Look at it. So, it doesn't work. It should be better than that. So we'll try to fix it. So we are now on the operation table, I have my only tool for the moment and what basically I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to see if I can access that component. Should be very easy because the Roomba, if something is great with that, is that you can order all the pieces like a robot. Very funny. So it's pretty old and I never really did a great clean up of this machine so I don't know what I'm gonna look and what I'm gonna find on this. So I think that basically this is the problem. I thought that was the problem at the beginning um, when I arrived from Australia, but I just opened that and I had like a floss. I thought the problem was solved and I put it back and I realized, oh, the problem is still there. So let's see. We'll try to remove that and remove the old stuff. So this is a new battery, this is not the original battery, this is a blue one and it's supposed to have an extension life, I replaced the previous one that was there, I'm just gonna remove it for sure. And uh, now it's time to open it, I don't know if it's gonna work this way, oh, it's pretty easy, oh, you can see right away a lot of problems. Well, it's very dirty, I don't know if it just prevent that to work. I see there's a screw there, so I suppose I can access um, the motor. But, um, I, I will clean it first. Okay, I brought my cleaner machine! Something very impressive. It's how it can, it can get all the stuff. Look at this. It's all what it get. Wow. Wow. Well, there is a problem. This is not a normal screw. This is like uh, I never seen that. Well, it looks like we don't have to remove this screw. Okay, well, it looks like that I cannot really repair the motor, so I just hope it was because it was dusty that it didn't work. I'm gonna put it in place and look at what happened. Okay, so I was wondering, is it a problem because of the wheel? But no, when you put the Roomba, the wheel goes down. And there's no problem of friction at all. You can free in both direction. I'm not sure where it's going, but there's no problem. So now we're ready for the test. And it doesn't really work. No, it really don't work. So yeah, this is Ben the Learner and it didn't work. So the next step is to bring this motor to someone with more knowledge about those crew 
trying to see if the motor is the problem. Hell, if I don't find any person, I'm gonna order a new motor for the Roomba, and I hope it's gonna work. If it works, I'm gonna do a quite a good update on this uh, robot because there's some component that needs to be replaced, but I don't want to replace this component before changing the motor and see that it works. Because if that doesn't work, the whole thing doesn't really work well. That was Ben the Learner trying to repair his Roomba.